Nice work with the try one more. A couple of questions to make sure we're on the same page. First, how did I get 30,000 for that first partial product? Go ahead and say it out loud. Yeah, my basic fact was five times six, that gave me 30. And then I had to add one, two, three zeros because that six was six thousands. So now I've got 30 thousands or 30,000. All right, another question, why didn't this rectangle here have a second row of partial products like we saw in the rectangles in the problem of the day? Say it out loud. Right, the factor that I used for the width of this rectangle, five, it's only got one place value. So I don't need another row underneath for another place value. Okay, go ahead and click on the arrow and move to the next slide. 